We are just 10 days away from President Obama's second inauguration. The first term saw history made, a health care law, financial reform, the end of don't ask, don't tell. And he says the best is yet to come. So does he belong on Mount Rushmore? That debate is heating up and it's coming up. Up next, we've long heard Republicans say Ronald Reagan deserves to be on Mount Rushmore. But does President Obama deserve a spot? It's a question getting a lot of attention today. That's next. Every president wants a chance to have their legacy cemented into American history. Literally. Over 70 years ago, sculptors finished carving the faces of four American presidents into Mount Rushmore in South Dakota. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln etched in stone forever. But is there room for another? Conservatives have long argued their idol, President Ronald Reagan, is worthy of the honor. But what about this? Does President Obama deserve to be up there with the others? It's a provocative question being raised in an article in the National Journal today, and it has everyone talking and debating. Joining me now is Toure, host of The Cycle here on MSNBC, and Abby Huntsman, host and producer of HuffPost Live. Thank you both for your time. Thank you. Toure, what about those who say Obama isn't ready? Reagan should go there first. What do you say? I'm not ready to put Reagan on the Mount Rushmore at all. I mean, we're only talking figuratively, right? They're not literally going to bring out a sculptor, perhaps another sculptor was from the KKK, like the guy who made that Mount Rushmore. We're not literally, literally going to call a sculptor whoa, and have him chisel whoa, whoa, whoa. a new day. You're on Politics Nation. We have chisels, hammers here. We, we, oh, so we're going to do it, you and ready. I? We bring up you, something. Okay, all right. Reagan... Or Obama. I'll put up Reagan. You can put up Obama. Well, I'm we'll not chisel together. I, I'm, chill, I'm not putting up Reagan at all. I'm not ready to put up Obama, right? I think he had a very strong first term, uh, saving Detroit, ending two wars, Amer ACA changed American fundamental ways, especially as much as you could from the dump that Bush left us with, okay? But I need to see a little bit more. I want to see what are you going to do on gun control? What are you going to be able to do on immigration, right? What are you going to be able to do in terms of gay rights so we can fundamentally change America for a larger group of Americans? When we see health care implemented, then we will see America right, change. Abby, surprising to a race says he's not ready yet. That is really shocking, actually. <laughs> this is a very premature celebration, a lot like the Nobel Peace Prize. It Obama won because it well, takes time. We're not time. having a celebration. We're having a, a discussion. Nobody's discussion. celebrating But even yet. talking about it, I think it's premature uh, because it takes time. I mean, the difference between politics and history is time. And, and I think the best way, history is really the best way to judge presidents. And it takes time, as you said, to know if the policies that President Obama is putting in place right now, how it's going to affect the American people down the road. We okay. just, we do. And, but if we're going to talk about... And by that math, then clearly we're not putting Reagan on any Mount Rushmore. Well, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, because the National Journal, when they raised it today, that's a very good point. How much will it affect the future of the country? Then how did Teddy Roosevelt get up there? What did he do that affected the future of the country? I mean, you look at the four presidents that are up there. I mean, no, 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 I asked about they're, one. Well, Teddy they're, Roosevelt. They are the founding... Tell me how speak softly and carry a big stick affected the rest I mean, of the these, country. These guys are, you know, part of what made our country what it is today. They're, you know, the founding fathers. I mean, you look at Lincoln, who ended slavery. I didn't say Lincoln. <laughs> Teddy Roosevelt. Well, I didn't put Teddy Roosevelt on there, but if but I. But he's up there. He is there because he is he is a Republican icon for a lot of reasons. He represents what our oh, party should be today. Oh, he's a Republican today. icon. I get it. I mean, what, what, what I'm saying really is, how do we determine the qualifications of those that are already there before we say that President Obama, or for that matter, Ronald Reagan, are not qualified? What are the qualifications? I, I mean, I would like to know. You raised the segment, so what are the qualifications for getting up there? Look, I don't know if we're ready to put Reagan, I mean, Obama or Clinton. I don't know why he's not part of the discussion. He is another great American president. Why we're not, I don't know if we're ready to put them up there. But I think, given a little time, we will see they will be seen as great presidents. But you look at Reagan, he ended the Cold War. I mean, I think they have to have a legacy that changed this country. And with Obama, I mean, he was the first black president. That in itself is such an accomplishment right. that he will always, always be remembered for. And he uh, stopped two wars and the whole question of uh, finance reform on Wall Street and health care. I mean, he has done some concrete things. 
I, I can, again, the reason I raised Teddy Roosevelt is that a lot of people could say that Teddy Roosevelt was more of a character than a transformative president. I can name literally things that President Obama has done. Now, sure. I, I'm trying to, to say if Teddy Roosevelt is the measure, I think it strengthens the case for President Obama. Well, Reverend, if, I, I'd love to ask you, if you had to pick one Republican to put on <laughs> Mount Rushmore, who would it be? We're only on another nine minutes. I need time to think about it. But I, think, I think Eisenhower is another good example, someone that really created the highway system, you know, really changed our country. But if you were to ask Obama if he would rather have his face on a mountain or be remembered in the hearts and minds of Americans, I'm pretty sure he would take the latter. I mean, we well, don't really I, live in a society where we want to put our face on a mountain. I, well, sure, but, but, but I think but both you know, things can I, I happen. Think, um, I mean, they'd yeah. have to choose one or the other. I, I think one of the things, in all seriousness, is that President Obama always, from all reports, thought of himself in a big way and aspired to be sure. uh, thought of in a big way. Uh, Jody Cantor uh, says uh, uh, about how he had always set his sights high. I'm reading from Jody Cantor in the New York Times. She says, just two years after arriving in the Senate, he spoke unabashedly about of becoming one of the greatest presidents, a transformative figure like Abraham Lincoln or Franklin D. Roosevelt, who would heal the country's divisions, address his most critical problems, and turn Americans into a hopeful new direction. That is a noble thing to aspire to. Well, I, of course it's a noble thing to aspire to, and he's clearly been that sort of person throughout his life. When we read about him at Harvard, he was clearly trying to do those sort of things, healing divisions. That's the sort of person that he is. Now, being the first black president, being a liberal president or a moderate president at this point in time, he's had Republicans attacking him and obstructing him right. in this way that the division that he's trying to heal, they're like, well, we're going to run the other way. We're going to make sure you don't get another term, right. these sorts of things. So he is trying to find that common ground that we hope that he would find that he's being noble for looking for and they're like no we just refuse to give it to you we're gonna take our ball and go home well happy huntsman and touré thanks for your time tonight have a great weekend thank you thanks. up next